In Power Director it is possible to do 3D editing. For example, you can transform the video and use it in another video as if it were really in 3D space. Or we can animate the background resulting the door is opening in space. This is of course not full 3D editing but the result can seem as a real 3D animation. First of all, I drag the main video clip onto the timeline which has a green background. Using the Unlink Audio Menu up option, I remove the unnecessary empty audio track from the clip. The animations will appear behind this clip, that's why I'm adding 4 video tracks to the timeline above the main video clip. I already have downloaded videos and backgrounds from Shutterstock. If I now go to the downloaded section, they will be visible. I select the background with the tree pattern and place just above the main video. I stretch it a bit on a timeline. With this little clock icon, you can set the exact duration. I set it exactly to 10 seconds. I use the pip editor to specify the color of the chroma key, which in this case, green. Since the green color is not completely homogeneous, I have to play a little with the color range and denoise sliders. Since I still see little green at hand, I add more chroma key to refine the filtering of the green color. I think that should be fine. Using the pan and zoom tool on the image I create a little move effect. I will use the user define tool. I move the position slider to the end of the video and create a new keyframe based on the previous one. Then using the anchor point I'm resizing the image. On the playback we can see the zooming but the image is not exactly aligned in the view. I change the zoom of the view to 50%, then using the anchor point I change the background image size to fit the view. I push the video containing the lady a little to the right so that there will be enough space on the left. Let's start playback, the background enlarges nicely. Now I will create a 3D like pip video, I drag the astronaut video onto the timeline in front of the background, so I place it below the background track. Using the anchor points I set the desired size and move it into the left top corner. And I set the video position in time when the video should appear. So I move it a little bit in the right. And now I'm creating a new video track for this video footage which will not contain audio track. I will use the blue reshaping node at the anchor points to reshape the video so that will make it appear to be positioned in a 3D space. The displayed video looks a bit odd without a frame, so I create a frame around the clip using the pip designer, activate the border tool, select the border color, size, blur of the border. Then let's play it to check how it looks like. Good. Now open the downloaded section, I will use two images with the wood cut background. I set the length of these images it fit to the main video length. The first image 
is the one half of the door and the other will represent the other half of the door. I am using the anchor points to change the size and the position of these two background images. The first I move into the left and the second image I resizing and moving into the right side. I'm going to animate the doors, so I open the keyframe, keyframe editor and open the clip animation section. I create a keyframe at the beginning, this is the start position of the door and I select the end position, but will not be the end position exactly, but I set the end position of the animation a little earlier than the video full length. I disable the main video because this is blocking the background selection. Using the blue reshape anchor points I reshaping my background so the result will look like, like it is uh, turned around in the 3D. Then I going go to the second image, the second half of the door and do it the same thing. I do the same operation but before but in the right side. Then it played how it look like, the end position not correct so I need to set the end position in the exact uh, time for the two background, now it's good. I will use the color board to create the ground and the ceiling. Gradient colored tiles appeared on the color board, I will use these brown for the ground and blue for the ceiling. I'm creating a new video track for a video footage that will run in the background. This will contains only a simple video track and I drag the Jupiter video footage on the, the timeline. At the end, using the crop and zoom tool, I make a little zoom effect on the Jupiter video. I am creating an end keyframe and set the size of the video. Hit OK and play it back. Nice. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Bye.